Hello, welcome to the Indie Ocean. I've had a couple of beers and I'm playing Super Janitoroid. <laughs> I don't really know what to expect from this. I played the demo before and it made me laugh. And I wasn't sure whether it was in a good way or a bad way, so why the hell not let's play it. I've had it in mind for a while, and today is the fateful day. A new year, and a new game. So here we go. As the name might suggest, it's kind of a Metroidvania, as far as I can tell. And it's about janitors. I'm not sure where Super comes in. Uh, Alright, come on then. I don't know what hardcore mode is, but I'm not feeling hardcore. My core feels distinctly squishy today. So standard mode it is. Uh. Well, <laughs> sorry, I was just marvelling at the exclamations of the characters there. Yikes. Alright, let's stick to the janitor. Keep it simple. Alright. There's a dark ghost haunting our facility. He's brought to life a large number of weird looking creatures. It really sucks. We'd like you to clean up the area, destroy the ghost, and return us return to us on the space platform. The ghost is controlling the only portal back up, so you'll have to defeat him to teleport back anyway. So that's the best way to get me to perform a mission. The only way to even leave is to carry out the mission, so you don't have a lot of choice. P.S. We had to sedate you in order to drop you down to the planet. Uh, so if all of this comes as a bit of a surprise, sorry, I know it's not in your job description. <laughs> Oh god, right. Restart. Well, I suppose cleaning up is, strictly speaking, a janitor's job. Alright. So we've got an upwards attack, vertical attack, horizontal attack, and jump. Fantastic. Alright. Okay. Animation is a bit wonky. Or the scrolling is a bit wonky anyway. Alright, so here we are. We're a janitor. With, what's that, with broom or something, I suppose? Okay. Oh, shit! No, don't do that. Hey. Come on. What good is our vertical attack if we can't attack vertically? Urgh. Oh, no. Took a heart of damage. I noticed we have three lives. I dread to think how that's going to come into play. Hopefully there's some form of continue system and we don't have to start over from scratch every time we lose a life. I suspect that's going to be happening a great deal. What the hell is that thing meant to be, anyway? Alright, this being, um, as far as I can tell, basically a Metroidvania, it's not entirely clear where we're meant to go. It's basically, find out where you're able to progress and then go from there. Gonna need a fuse for that. Gonna need a fuse for that. Oh shit, I thought that was floor. Hey, my mop just passed through that weird bag-headed bird. I'll piss off you. Okay, two hits of damage down. D three hits! Oh god, I don't feel tremendously optimistic. Okay. <laughs> Lost the life already. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. Let's just not try to fight anything whenever possible. Alright, that didn't seem like it was going any, anywhere very exciting, so let's go this way instead. No! Oh. What's that? Health increased. So up to five hearts. Could have done with that the last time. No! Oh! Poo sticks. Alright. Just dodge him and attack him from behind. Oh, I took a hit anyway! God damn you! Uh, the control's pretty clumsy in this, I have to say. Oh, that's a wall. Right. It's not entirely clear what's background and what's foreground. But I'm sure I'll learn. Alright. The fuck. No, uh, no, just, this is very hairy. Oh god, okay. Alright. Apparently we need a hard hat. Oh, it's a checkpoint marker. Okay. Okay, so there's lava in the basement. Fantastic. God, what is this music? I assume it was probably, you know, the developer's neighbour or something who recorded this. 
Oh, it's put grip, whatever it is. Oh, need a key, alright. It'd be nice if locked doors were indicated with some kind of icon. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Considering I have trouble not getting hit by enemies who basically do nothing but walk around and stick their tongues out, I'm not brimming with confidence about the ones who shoot at me. Still, managed it so far. Couple more though. Come on. Yeah. Turn away. Yes. Okay. Alright, does this one open? No! Oh. Okay, do I want to go to the bottom? No, there's no way out down there, so let's go this way. Checkpoint. Oh, the classic Super Mario dropping block thing. Okay. Need fuses. Oh yes, I remember. I remember this from when I played the demo. I think there's a boss coming. Sorry, spoiler alert, I think there's a boss coming. And there it is, Pukey Snake. Oh, classic boss intro there. Alright. And it lives up to its name. So presumably avoid the sick. I would guess that- oh shit! I would guess, knowing games as I do, that I'm meant to hit this glowing nodule thing here. Alright, let's try that. I'm grateful for the incredibly high jump of this janitor. Janitor's known, of course, for their superhuman jumping ability. Alright, this should be fairly straightforward, I think. Okay, so he goes in for a horizontal attack every time. Every time I hit him, that's fine. Not a problem. I can cope. But can you cope with all this excitement? Bet you can't. Yeah! Take that right on your lumpy hernia. Oh no! Oh, sick to the face! I can't lose to the vomiting snake. Vomiting hernia snake sounds like a fan. Come on, keep spitting. Come on! Uh, uh, Alright, safe. No, don't throw up on me, don't! Oh. Turn away, turn away, go on. Move away from that thing. Yeah, now we're in business. Oh no! Damn you, not working jump button. Oh, ball sacks. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Janitor defeats Giant Snake. It's a classic fairy tale of heroism. Oh, and it explodes into sick that showers all over me. What a fantastic reward. Aren't you glad you killed that snake, Super Janitor? Alright. What now? Okay. Ah. Do I need to pick something? Yes! I was going to say. I didn't seem to pick anything up from there that would help, but... Yes! Box of fuses! Good call, me. Alright, box of fuses in there. Yep, that's turned that into a platform, so that's nice. And I can get... Another health up, which not only increases my maximum health, it heals me to max. The best sort of health improvement. Far better than going to the gym four days a week. Alright. So I guess we're done with this corner of the game world. Hmm. What's up next? Presumably somewhere we need fuses to get to. Hmm. Didn't we run into a fuse box higher up? I think we did. Was it this one? No, that's a locked door. Um. Okay, back over the lava. So, in true platform game fashion, we have to laboriously wait. I know there isn't a lot of labour involved in waiting, so laborious might not be the right word, but it feels like there's a lot of labour. I was doing so much mopping of the ceiling while waiting. Ugh. God, come on. Alright, another checkpoint. 
Oh, we have to go back past the spitting fire things. I don't know why I didn't think of just running across these the first time. Alright, back up here. Where was the fuse box? Ah, up there. Okay. It looks like that's another platform to be. So that'll be where we're going next, I suppose. I wonder what difference it makes if you choose a different character rather than the janitor. Possibly nothing. Who knows? I think I unlocked the other one during the demo, actually, so it must be pretty easy to get. Okay. Is this a tunnel or is it solid? Okay, it's a tunnel. Oh god, this doesn't look pretty. No! Oh, you fucker! Oh, stop it! Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. No, get that. The fuck. Oh, God, this is trickier than it looks. Oh, cockbags. Well, at least I'm... Whoa. What's with this zoomed outness? Am I meant to kill this thing? Oh, I guess so. Didn't take much doing. But what's over here? Just another bird. I only have one health. Now I have maximum health. At least I've got another health increase. It would be nice, though, if the health increase message didn't block out everything that's going on. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Come on. Thank you. So it was actually impossible to hit that thing without taking damage myself. Good design, Super Janitoroid. Okay. Now there's a load of shit shooting at me. Alright. I do like the um, the way the camera pulled back, though. That's a nice touch. Some thought has gone into the design, at least. Alright. Um, another of those shooting guys. Can't go down because there's a door there. That's what he said. Never mind. Oh, jumping block dropping things. Oh, it's like Mario all over again, only completely different. Oh, the classic rolling boulders. Oh, poo. Oh. Alright, come on. This jump is the floatiest thing I've ever experienced. It's ridiculous. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I thought I was going to get killed, but no. And a fuse has opened that door. Fantastic. Progress! Hopefully it'll be easier to avoid the rocks on the way down. Oh, shit balls! What was that? What do you mean, what was that? It was lava. You fell into lava. That wasn't a mysterious death. Oh, stop turning to face me, cockbag. Okay. Now, uh, alright, there's more lava. Fuck! Okay, it doesn't look like there's a handy platform or anything, so I might need another item to go that way. What about down? Oh, shit. Laser bucket, which I now have on my head? I actually have no idea what this is meant to do. Oh, whoa! Okay, it gives me projectiles. Nice. Not sure it'll necessarily solve any access problems, though. Unless I can hit that Zelda style. Ah, oh, that is indeed what's happened. Fantastic. I'm such a gameplay genius. Oh god, another boss. Egg Raven. That sounds like a Metal Gear Solid boss. Oh, that head is weirding me out. That actual raven head. 
Okay. I can just about hit him if I jump to maximum height. I don't want to touch his eggs. Okay, his eggs are bombs, so that was a, a good instinct there. Whoa! Fuck balls! His hitbox is surprisingly small. Clearly he's a hero from a bullet hell. Come on. Keep pounding him. Keep pounding the bird in its ass. Oh, piss off. You and your cheap bloody charging attack. Call yourself a raven. You're more like a budgie. Urgh. Oh, fuck. Oh no, one hit left. Okay, have to dodge this charge. Yes. And the egg. Don't get hit by the eggs. My god. He takes a lot of punishment. I never realised ravens were so hardy. Unbeknownst to most, ravens are the hardiest of birds. No, land in time to jump! Fuck! I thought I was going to land in time to dodge them. But, Egg Raven goes down like a complete bastard. Um, presumably he dropped something? Somewhere? Up here? Yes. What have I got? I've got... Lots of keys. So presumably I can now open locked doors. Fantastic. And on that note, before I press on with my new pocket full of keys, my bucket on my head, and my bag of fuses, I'm going to call an end to this episode. Thanks for watching me <laughs> begin my super janitoroid adventure and rejoin me the next time for more cleaning of bizarre animals. Thanks for watching and see you then.